Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House, and in this video we're going to take a closer look at the elastic and, well, quite stretchy trellis netting. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you the trellis netting that we offer here, which is available in a 3x4 foot and a 3x3 foot. Now, the 3x3 foot is pretty much perfect for everything up to a one2 meter by one2 meter tent, which is essentially 4 foot by 4 foot, right? It does stretch to that no problem at all, which we'll show soon. The 3 foot by 4 foot, what you're going to find is that is more suitable for something a little more odd shape. So that'll be something along like a 2.2 by 1.2, where you'd use a couple of these if you're looking to span the whole tent. The idea is that it's going to stretch a little bit longer one way than it is the other. But we'll cover that soon in the video and show you what it's actually going to look like in a real world application. But what I want to do first is show you what happens when you set one up. So I've got one out of the bag. So I'm just going to grab that now and we'll just put it in this tent frame. We've made a mini tent here. So we'll just set that up and show you. So out of the bag, this one here is a three foot by three foot. Uh, doesn't look like much right now, but what is included is, I'll just unhook this here, is four hooks. So. The idea is it's more so designed for a tent frame because it hooks on absolutely perfect, uh, but you could put some hooks in a wall if you're working with a custom built grow space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start by hooking onto one corner here. I'm gonna stretch this out, hook onto that corner there, and I'm just gonna go around because I can't reach. This is a 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter frame that we've set up here, just to show you. So, pull the entire tent across. All right, so now that we've stretched this out, what we've done is we've just put the hooks anywhere we found suitable. You can obviously set this up to suit your needs, but what we think is this is what it's gonna be set up for most people because it still has a bit of elasticity, uh, but it is gonna offer plenty of support for your plants, which is the main reason why you'd go for an elastic trellis netting. It's gonna be able to support your plants when they start getting heavy. The idea is a lot of people are you know, trying to grow plants that they're really trying to maximize. And when you maximize on a plant's potential, it tends to get heavy and a bit droopy. So this trellis netting here is gonna be supporting that plant and ensuring it doesn't keel over and just snap in half. So that's what it looks like when it's set up in a tent frame here. I'm just gonna tilt this up so you can see uh, just you know how it is. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop over to one of the tents where we've got it set up now and we'll show you what it looks like in application. Okay, so what we've done is we've just taken that same trellis net and we've set this up in our uh, 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter display tent here, which has got a little hydro system in the bottom. And as you can see, it is a really good fit for this tent. Now, while it might not go right out to the edges, you're still gonna get plenty of support from the plants leaning to the inside of it. Now, this is only a three foot by three foot net. And what we've done here is we've also set it up in the tent next to it, which is a three foot by three foot tent. So we'll show you that in a second, but I just wanted to point out that this is pretty much the perfect size for a 1.2, 1.2 when it's stretched out. And of course, this is only one layer. Might, a lot of people might actually go for two layers or more for extra plant support, but just for the one, we'll show you what it looks like with a plant in action. So just cutting over to our one by one tent here. You almost can't even see the trellis net. It has gone absolutely wild here with these tomatoes, but it is still offering a lot of support. Now, we've been pretty rough on these tomatoes. We've actually been snapping the branches over and feeding them back through the trellis net. This was essentially a sea of green or a scrog style setup, and then things have just taken off. We've had bug problems. We um, kind of neglected it, so uh, yeah. yeah. It's bouncing back well, but there is actually a trellis net in there, and it is going from corner to corner all along the edges. You just can't see it because it's doing its job very well with the plants intertwining. So they're absolutely fantastic, the stretchy trellis nets. They're a little more easy to use than the standard trellis net uh, and a little more reusable. So when you're done harvesting your plants, you can just clean it out and set it back up and off you go again. So I just want to say thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions or anything at all, just get in touch with us here at Herbal House.